Hello CMS, I'm Elijah. And I'm Steven. Here are your morning announcements for Friday, December 14th. Next week is Spirit Week. Monday is Ugly Sweater Day. Tuesday is Formal Day. Make sure your formal outfits are still following the dress code. Wednesday is Wacky Wednesday. Thursday is Sports Day. And Friday is Trojan Pride Day. On Monday, December 17th, there will be a choir concert at 7 p.m. in the Clarenceville Auditorium. On Tuesday, permission slips are due for the 6th graders interested in signing up for floor hockey. The cost is $20 per child. Games will be held most Thursdays evenings on six, at 6.15 and 7.30 beginning in January. Also, on Thursday, December 18th, the CMS boys basketball team will have a game against Oak Park Middle School. 7th graders will play first starting at 4.30 p.m. On Wednesday, December 19th, there is a band concert at 7 p.m. in the Clansville Auditorium. On Thursday, December 20th, there will be a staff versus the boys basketball team assembly at the end of the school day. The boys basketball teams will play another game next week on Thursday, December 20th at, at CMS against Warren Middle School starting at 4 p.m. Go Trojans! Next week on Friday, December 22nd, is the 7th grade field trip to Henry Ford Museum and the 6th grade field trip to Bonaventure Roller Skating Rink. This is going to be our final broadcast for 2018. We will return in January. The Broadcast Club would like to wish everyone a very happy holiday and a safe winter break. We'd like to wish a very happy birthday to the following students who have an upcoming birthday. In 2018, to Kamaya, Jody, Christian, Joey, Billy, Carly, Brody, Jaquela, Karen, Madison, Ronald, Richard, Charles, Miss Robinson, Angelina, Trinity, Aiden, Jasmine, Gabe, Serenity, Jalen, Mr. Hapkirk, Miss Parks, Mr. Lingle, Ashlyn, Savannah, Miss McDowell, Jordan, and Cassie. Happy birthday! At this time, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Well, that's all for today, CMS. Now over to Michaela and Kate. Hello, CMS. What's up, everyone? This is Today in History. So let's find out what happened. Today in History. On December 10th, 1901, the first ever Nobel Prizes were awarded in Stockholm, Sweden. I wonder how they felt winning the first ones. Well, I would assume. Pretty darn great. On December 11th, 1946, UNICEF was founded. After World War II, the General Assembly of the United Nations voted to create the organization as a way to assist children in other countries who were affected by the war. That's what it's all about. Also on December 11, 1913, W.S. Fiddler died of excessive overindulgence in cheese. That must have been a lot of cheese. On December 12, 1980, legendary artist Leonardo da Vinci's writing sold for $5,126,000. That's a lot of cash money. They were sold to Arm & Hammer, an American oil tycoon. Also in 1980, on December 13th, Kenny Rogers' greatest hits hit number one on the Billboard Top 200 Pop Albums. Who even is that? Don't ask me. Lastly, on December 14th, 1799, George Washington, our first president, died. Aww. <laughs> he, he passed in his Mount Vernon home along the banks of Pot Potomac. He was a brave soul. And he will always be remembered. This was your fact of the week, Mr. B. That's it for today in history. Thanks for watching, folks. Now on to jokes with Jaden. Jokes with Jaden.
What is up, CMS? Dane Smiley back at it again with jokes with Dane and I, and I'm here with my special guest, Skyler and Megan. Yeah, they're twins. So, uh, guys, tell your jokes. You go first. Okay. Um, why don't seagulls fly over the bay? Cause if they did, they would be called bagels. I like bagels. What okay. happens when you tell a cat a bad joke? Man, I'm just kitten. Your turn. Your turn. Okay. Um, what's a pig's favorite karate move? A oh, pork chop. <laughs> I don't get that, but okay. I don't get it. Uh, send an email out for who you think won. Don't look Jaden, Skyler, Megan, or Jaden. And if you want to be my special guest for next week, send another email out and we'll do a wheel and spin to see who is my special guest for next week. Hope to see you later, CMS. checking the blankets, make sure, making sure they're ready to go to hospitals.
and I am Mark. Today, we are talking, or taking a look at the top five holidays from last week's poll. In fifth place, we have a tie between New Year's and St. Patrick's Day with 2.8% of the votes. In fourth place is Easter with 4.2% of the votes. In third place is Thanksgiving with 12.5% of the votes. In second place are birthdays with 15.3%. Lastly, in first place is Christmas with 59.7% of the votes. I guess a lot of people are probably happy that their favorite holiday is just around the corner. Yeah, now over to this week's question. What is your favorite sport? Students and staff, check your email for the survey link, and we will see you next week on Top 5. No over to Delaney with Taking It Back. Taking It Back with Delaney McLean. Hello, CMS. Welcome back to Taking It Back with Delaney McLean. I'm Delaney, and this week I have Kate Severson here. Hello, everyone. Would you like to tell them what we will be talking about this week? Why not? We're talking about the Beatles! Woo! Known as one of the best rock bands of all time, the Beatles first became popular in 1963. How long ago was that? I have no idea. Neither do I. <laughs> the band was made up of John Lennon on rhythm guitar, Paul McCartney on bass, George Harrison on lead guitar, and... Ringo on the drums! Um, yeah, that's right. He wasn't very good. His son is better, according to my dad. Well, actually... Let's not start this. Fine. They were all from Liverpool, England. Their accents were so thick that sometimes you could barely understand them half the time. I know I can't. From the time they started to when they broke up in 1970, they produced 12 studio albums, and many more were made later on. Delaney actually has some on vinyl that she will show right now. Hey. They've won far too many awards to list here, but remember to email Mrs. Souders if you'd like any extra info. You'd better be ready for the Miss Souders. There are many speculations as to why the band broke up. Why do you think they broke up? I think they were just tired of each other. I know I would be after so many years with the same people. I mean, not saying anything against you since we've been friends since, like, kindergarten, but... <laughs> I blame it on Yoko Ono, John Lennon's wife. She butt in on everything, even during studio sessions. After they broke up, all four tried for success as solo artists, but not all of them had luck. John Lennon was killed in 1980. And George Harrison died in 2001. Out of the members left, Paul McCartney, my personal favorite, has had the most musical success. Successful in other things? Well, we'll save that for another time. It's just too bad my favorite, George, has passed away. It's okay, sweetie. <laughs> they were a great band and still are popular to this day, over 50 years later. Thank you all for taking a trip in the old time machine. I hope you all enjoyed. Staff Spotlight! Hello CMS staff and students, I'm your host Miriam Kiwi and for today's Staff Spotlight, I have a very special guest, 6th grade social studies teacher, Mr. Hafker. Hi Miriam, how are you today? I'm doing good. Good. How are you? I'm very good. Okay, so today we have a few questions for you. Great. First question is, how long were you a teacher here at Clarenceville? Oh, long time. I think 100 years. No, not 100 years. Um, this is my 24th year at Clarenceville Schools. So I had 11, no, 13 years over at Grandview. And then how many years does that make now for, the, for here? I'm not really good at math. <laughs> 11 now. This is my 11. 11th year yeah. Yeah, here at the middle school. Oh, okay. Yeah. Was this your dream job? Well, it didn't start off to be my dream job, but it has become my dream job, yes. I originally started after college, after high school, I started um, in computer programming. And I thought I'd uh, leave that to Miss Souders to do. Oh, Miss Souders. All right. And then I went into law enforcement. So I have a, uh, an associate's degree in law enforcement. And I started to be a police officer, and then I decided, nah, I didn't want uh, people shooting at me. Oh. And so then I decided to try education. 
which I thought was a great choice. That's yes, a great choice. Yes. Okay. Well, your second question. Many people may not know this, but you used to be a science teacher over in Miss Donovan's room a few years ago. Uh, what do you like most about teaching science? Back oh, then? well, science was fun. I mean, it was a lot of work, but fun because of all the experiments you got to do, all the hands-on stuff. I'm a very hands-on type person, and I like doing that kind of stuff. Did you ever do the lava thing? Volcano? Never did the lava thing, no. Oh, that's not some, some kids did science projects that had lava things, but, oh. but I never did myself, no. Last question. Do you like, what um, subject do you like to teach better, social studies or science? Oh, so tough. Well, I really enjoyed the, the hands-on projects that we would do in science, but uh, social studies, I'm a map person. I love maps. And um, so if I had to pick, uh, I gotta go with my social studies. Yeah, that's my favorite subject too. Oh, good, glad to hear it. Thank you for being on this podcast. Thanks, Miriam. Thank you, I enjoyed it. Thank you. Yeah. Have a great break. See you in 2019.